So to demonstrate approvals, I'm going to go through a very simple workflow using a hiring contract, which goes to a manager for approval, then to the candidate for signature, and then back to an internal HR consultant for final sign off. So I'm starting on the send page and first I want the contract to be approved. So I type the approver's email address, click this down arrow and choose approver. Next, I'm entering the candidate's email address. And finally, the email for the final signature and sign off. Next, I enter a name for the document. I'm going to upload the contract. And I'm going to check this box so that I can drag fields onto the document in the next screen. Then I click next. So now I'm in the drag and drop authoring environment. And the first thing I want to do before I add any fields is click the select participant drop down and choose the candidate's email so that I can add fields for her to complete. I'm going to add a signer name field and also a signature field. Next, I click this down arrow again and choose the HR consultant's email address and add the fields for her. Now, an important note is that an approver can interact with the document in all the same ways that a signer can. So if you have a document that you also want the approver to sign or to complete any fields, you just need to add those fields for the approver. So in this example, I'm going to have the approver initial the document. And to do this, I just click the select participant drop down again, choose the approver's email, and then drag the initial field onto the document. So now the document is ready to send and I click the send button. So the contract goes to the approver first, Thurmond in this case, so let's take a look at what he sees. He gets an email just like this in his inbox and he follows the normal steps that a signer would, clicks on the link, then he can review the document and now he has a couple of options available to him. So let's take a look at these. Up here in the top left, he can choose to pass the approval of the document to another party or if, for example, there's an error in the document, he can decline to approve the document by clicking on this link. So in this example, everything looks good. So first he's going to add his initials here by clicking on this box and then he can go ahead and approve the document. So now the document goes to the candidate for signature and the candidate will receive an email and she'll go through the usual steps to complete and sign the document. And finally, the document goes on to the last stage of this workflow, which is the internal HR consultant who will complete the final signature required on the contract. Approvals are tracked in the documents audit trail, and you can view this on the manage page from the history tab as shown here.